collection, except this one's a little bit different than the previous ones. All right, guys, so I purchased another collection. Actually, it was a small portion of someone's collection. Uh, a buddy of mine, so unfortunately, we are not gonna say who it is. We're also not gonna talk price on this one. Uh, some of you guys on Instagram and maybe even some of you guys on YouTube may know whose collection this is based on a certain book in there. Regardless though, the point is not to know who it was in this video, it's just to see what was picked up. Uh, before we get into it, you know what to do with the thumbs up, the subscribe button, comments, all that jazz, and please give me a follow over on Whatnot. If you're not on the app, download it. We have a big mystery box auction in November. We just did, uh, well, filming this, we just uh, did a Spider-Man night. We have an X-Men night planned for November, probably Batman in December. Giveaway shows every last Tuesday of the month is a giveaway show over on Whatnot. Use the description the code down in the description. Get yourself $10 off your first purchase. And it doesn't have to be with me. That's the best part. And of course, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that stuff. Very Gary underscore comics. Okay, so premise, uh, the seller needed some money, not for, um, you know, he wasn't in a bind, like he needed to pay some bills, but it was for a reason he was trying to acquire something. Again, not gonna get into too much detail, but he needed the money and it always helps to have that guy you could call if you need to dump your collection for one reason or another or a portion of it. I got a guy. If I'm in a jam, I'm in a pickle and I need to move a portion of my collection, I, got, I have people I, I'm gonna call too. So uh, that's exactly what he did. We've done deals previously. We've bought collections before. So, you know, buddy of mine. Um, four short boxes and a box of slabs. The majority of this purchase is basically in about four or five graded books. You know, some of the stuff in there is not bad. Some of it's not great. But some of it is tremendous. Uh, and I was able to keep one, maybe two books for the PC, which kind of helped move this along. Um, I'm going to show you in the video almost every single book in this collection because there's like a huge Batman run. So we flip through it quick, a little bit of silver, a little bit of bronze, a little bit of copper age modern. But again, the slabs is where it's at. We're going to check those out last. So without further ado, let's get into this collection. All right. So here we have one, two, three, four short boxes, not quite, quite full, but pretty much full three and uh, like a half. Uh, we have some last Ronin stuff. We're going to do the slabs last. This is essentially a last Ronin run, all different covers, different variants. I think it's missing issue four or five. Anyway, not that big of a deal. All right, let's go into here. Uh, this is the Toys R Us reprint. Nothing crazy there. And then we've got some Silver Age Batman, some 10 cent, 12 cent. That's not the real one. Some more 12 cent Batman. Then we jump all the way to issue 200. And now we're already in the Bronze Age. That's not the real one. Minor keys. This is just a nice Neil Adams book. Uh, some maybe some minor keys in here. Nothing crazy if I remember. I only looked through this once. A lot of this stuff is actually just going to be bulked out. Um, just because it's not super, super easy for me to move this stuff. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to, these aren't that bad. I'm trying to find, like, something worth really noting. I mean, there was some, not J oh, there you go. That's like a $10 book. There was the early, um, oh, some Batman, some Hush, but it's not the full run. And Red Hood story arc here, but first Red Hood isn't in here. Damien... And it's pretty, oh, we go into Detective and then Batman again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Now we'll go over here. What do we have here? All right. So we start with Rebirth. This is second print. Uh, but Rebirth, it's almost the full Rebirth run. Nothing too exciting. I mean, I think people loved issue 50. I think, wasn't that the wedding issue or something? I don't know. Um, nothing really that crazy in here. And then, all right, so here's a little Silver Age Green Lantern. Uh, just some variants here. 
Uh, what's that first Jason? Is that first Jason Todd in costume? I don't know if it's Jason Todd in costume. I always get them mixed up. Um, free comic book day stuff. That's House of Slaughter. Okay, what do we have over here? All right, detective. So we have a little bit of Silver Age detective here. All right? Yeah. And um, that's we're up to the modern age. First Arkham, or Anarchy. I'm sorry. First Anarchy. Some Detective 1000 variants. Uh, that's pretty much it there. And then this is where it picks up from Rebirth. So 86. So I'm pretty sure... Is this the Rebirth? No, this is. So this should be issue like 87. Not this one. Not this one, but this one. Oh, 85. What do we have here? 85. We're missing like... What's this? No. So we're at like 85, and then we jump over here to 86. Perfect. All right, so... 86, some variants, uh, the Tinian stuff. So, like, the punchline stuff, but I think some stuff's missing. I have to really look closely if this is a, like, pure Batman run. So, you go from the King to the Tinian or Tinian. I don't know. Somebody will correct me in the comment section. Some 98s, a bunch of 98s, some 99s. There are some first appearances in here. Oh, we're, now we're in Batgirl. So that's it. What did we end at? 100. Hold on. It might We might jump to 101. Let me see. Uh, Joker. Yeah, there's 101. Those are tie, those were tie-ins to the Joker War, I believe. Yeah, there are some first appearances in here. I don't think anything is like crazy, crazy expensive. But I'll probably move this entire thing on an auction over on the Pressable Defects channel. And do like the whole run. Missing like a few issues here or there. Yeah, so that's that. All right, now, this box. This box does have some, some okay stuff in here. All right, so we have some variants. Variants, some normal stuff. Uh, here's their first Black Winter. That is the first print. I think this is the second print. This is the third print. Fourth print. Strange Academy, one third print. Some web. That's a nice McFarlane cover. Ooh, I might have to pull that. Uh, Ghost Spider 7, Thor 18, amazing, there's a variant there, it's a Jim Lee, and uh, I was talking to my buddy, and he was saying that a lot of these things in like high, like 9 eights are like expensive, and these were super high grade, Wolverine, oh, this is just a Jim Lee cover, everybody loves this cover, and it is really, really good, some Psylocke stuff, Binary, Nice book here. Popped a little bit, and now it's gone down. This is the biggest raw book, I think, in the batch of everything. This is the first Rogue and Madeline Pryor, I believe. Uh, so this one, we'll have to pull this one, too. Then you got Web, uh, some Oblivion Song here, number ones. Okay, stuff. House of Slaughter, one. More free comic book day, House of Slaughter. Uh, I think this is the whole run here. And then, again, some books that, like, in 9.8s are very pricey. Three Jokers are not that it's pricey. Shazam. All right, and this is the whole uh, Kirby's Fourth World run right here, the modern one. Okay. Now we want to go take a look at the slab. So let's rotate up here. Let's move these over here. Let's, uh, let's move the Ronins. And there is one other magazine size, because there's a Ronin there in a 9.6. We have New Mutants. This is a first print in an 8.5. This is the origin and first appearance of the New Mutants. Cannonball, Psych... Oh, God. Psych, Sunspot, Wolfbane. So here's where the money is. Here's the best stuff in everything, in the lot. So we have a first Bishop in a 9.8. Uh, first Gambit cameo, or first Gambit, depending on who you ask, in a 9.6. And then this is the first Gambit in a 9.6 or second I don't know depending who you ask according to CGC it's the end the market that's the first appearance first apocalypse in a 9.6 uh, powers of X number one this is the normal cover the uh, first appearance of Rasputin Car who is that Silabel and Cardinal okay powers of X one now this is a variant this is the Weaver variant in a 9.8 X-Men 160, first appearance of Ileana as an adult, who is magic. That's a nice book. It got a little pricey. First Forge in a 9.6. Uh, first Marauders in a 9.6. This one's not too, too crazy. It's just a great cover, I guess. And then you have X-Men 37, 
This is the death of Blink. 36, this actually was first. This is the first appearance of Cinch uh, in a 9-8. And then you have this one, I think, too. Yeah, this is first, no first appearance, but it, it, they all go together, and this is a 9-8. Uh, what do we have here? Green Lantern, 188. I'm not sure. In a 9-8. I'm sure it's a first appearance of one of the 5,000 Lanterns. This is first appearance of Kyle Rayner as Green Lantern. His first appearance is actually uh, Green Lantern 48. Not a very expensive book. This is a double cover. See, double cover. First cover is a 4.0. Interior is a 4.5. So they put the better grade on the label. Just, uh, just a cool collector's item. Nothing, no keys, nothing crazy. Some Adam Hughes Catwoman in a 9.8. Very nice. Uh, this is the first appearance of August Hart. First appearance of Godspeed. Cameo in a 9.8. These are great, like, whatever books. Uh, this is the uh, Harbinger 13 and 9-8. This is the Dark Knight Returns homage. This is just an awesome 9-8. I don't think this is the first appearance of anyone. If it is, it's somebody minor that's not on the label. This is an early J. Scott Campbell. Well, I say early, from 09. In a 9-6. Oh, first Duke Thomas in a 9-8. Kind of a minor key. That's a big one. Showcase 22, first appearance of Hal Jordan, first Silver Age Green Lantern, first Abin Sur, first Kyle Ferris. Or Carol, I'm sorry, Carol Ferris. In a 3.5. That is the biggest book in the night, in the lot. Green Lantern 40. This is a big book. People don't realize about this. This is not only the origin of the Guardians. It's the Golden Age Green Lantern crossover. First Krona. I believe this is the first Golden Age Green Lantern in the Silver Age. First time they meet. A nice book. 8.5. Great grade on that. First Riddler. Okay, this actually, it's a 6.0, but this one came out of my PC because the 6.5 that was in this collection, I'm keeping. So I'm keeping the 6.5, I'm moving the 6.0. So pretend that's a 6.5. Last but not least, first appearance of Black Hand. This is in a 5.5, about a $200 book in this condition. So that's literally everything in here, guys. So that's that. All right, that's it. You guys saw it all. Nothing crazy except a few of those slabs. The Rogue was pretty nice, but of course that Hal Jordan, first appearance of Hal Jordan, that was the best book in here. I think the second best book was the Riddler, at which I kept the 6.5. It's right down there. Um, and I say this all the time. Um, it doesn't, you know, if, if there's a book you want, it doesn't hurt to get into an entry level grade like a 2 or a 2.5. That's where I started with my Riddler. I think my first one was like a two or a two five. I was able to get like a three five or a four in a good price. And then maybe I traded up, I think, to the six. And now I just acquired a six five in a batch of books. Who knows? You know, maybe a seven or a seven five come my way at a good price. Or I, I decide to move the six five to upgrade for just a little bit more. Who knows? But uh, it doesn't hurt to get in at a low level. I mean, my pe first appearance of Penguin was a three five. You know, my first, uh, what else do I have over here? It's like I've graded up oh my first two face was like a four or five you know it's stuff like that um just start you know you don't even have to do that i just like doing that because i want to get higher and higher grades but get your entry level grade um with some of this stuff anyway i digress that was it <laughs> that's it for this collection guys i hope you enjoyed this video sorry we're not going to talk price i apologize and again give me a follow over on whatnot we have weekly streams starting at seven o'clock eastern with erod 212 i take over at 8 30 davis Ryder 10 o'clock those are all eastern standard times description down below there is a discount code if you haven't purchased anything on the app you get ten dollars off your first purchase doesn't even have to be with me so that's it for me here guys thank you so much hope you enjoyed this video i hope you liked some of those slabs and as always keep it comics